good morning, everybody. It's December 23rd, 2021 in Big Bear. And I thought we would do a little drive around the lake right now because we just got the weather that just, just came in. Unfortunately, it's raining, but later on today it will turn to snow, but I know that sucks that it's raining right now. It's 44 degrees outside, it's 7.15 in the morning. But guys, check this out, you're not gonna believe this. Look what finally came. Look, dude, look. And it feels like I'm wearing one of my Gucci beanies, dude. I'm telling you, dude, these are like the nicest quality beanies ever, dude. And there's a, there's a few different colors and there's also a few different uh, um, <coughs> patch colors too. There are two different patch colors. There's either the standard one like this, the white one, or, or there's a brown one and, and, and they're both beautiful. I've got like green, I think like dark blue or black, this color, and another color. I can't remember, but oh my gosh. And just smelling them too. It, it like smells like I just left Nordstrom. <laughs> I'm serious. These things are insanely beautiful, you guys. I am very happy about it. Um, and I'm sending my, my first order out today of five of them to Connie. God bless you, Connie. I hope you enjoy them. Seriously, the most comfortable beanie I've ever had. And it's pretty damn good looking too. Anyway, that's enough promoting the beanies, but I wanted you guys to know that the beanies are here. And for the friends, as I said, or well, for the friends, all of you are the friends. It's 70 bucks, and then 10 bucks, I don't care where the shipping is. Um, there's, a, there's a shipping box that's I think it's like you can stuff as much as you can in it for like just under nine bucks. It's crazy because when I was selling on eBay years ago, it, it was it was five bucks for that box, but now it's like almost nine bucks. So, and if it's if it's further than than usual, it, even if I'm sending it to freaking Europe, I'll still just it'll still be ten bucks. I don't care because um, I'm sure there's not going to be that many people who are going to want it overseas. So. But yeah, so they cost me like, with the patch included everything, about 32 bucks a piece. As I said, I don't want you guys to feel like you're getting jacked. You, like, uh, guarantee you, like, guarantee you on my life, you'll never find any any beanie this quality for this price, ever, anywhere. Like, like no chance, like zero chance. Um, it's, it's the highest quality merino wool. 100% fine merino wool. And the logo is a leather patch. All right, enough about that. So 70 bucks plus 10 bucks equals 200 bucks. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, <coughs> and I'll ship them out same day. You guys just uh, send me your info to my email and then like Venmo, Venmo or Cash App me, and then I will send them out and I'll and I'll, I'll I'll give you all tracking and stuff like that. No problem. Yeah, I know Connie's been waiting. She sent 300 bucks for, for for these, and she's gonna give most of them away and, and keep one. She promised me she, she's definitely gonna wear one all the time though, so that's good. Guys, these are beautiful. Anyway, let's talk about the weather. That's what we're here for. So unfortunately, now it's not 44 anymore. It's 45. The temperature is arising. I see. The temperature rising Ain't no snow I can see Rain don't come tonight We want the snow to be in our face For some reason I woke up today feeling a little bit better I'm so grateful I'm so grateful but I think it's because of the weather, you guys, seriously. Like, anytime we get bad weather, I'm happy. And the further we go this direction, you guys, the more the more rain we're gonna come into. Just like the further we go this direction, the more snow will come into when it's when it's snowing outside.
do a drive around the lake so you guys can see how beautiful everything's look. Well, I mean, as I said, for me, this is beautiful. For those of you up in like Washington and Oregon, this is probably making you depressed. <laughs> You're like, we see this every day. But you know what? We are we get over 300 days of sunshine up here. Obviously, I wish this was snow. But it's it's the train and fairly good right now, so it'd be pretty good snowfall coming down right now. Unfortunately for you skiers and snowboarders, I feel horrible for you today, especially those who took 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 your day off to come up here. This is a bummer because it's not going to start snowing until probably after the resorts close for the day. Especially in the summertime, it would be foggy. I'd walk outside and everything was soaking wet. Soaking wet because of all the dew. The ground would literally look like this on the little island I grew up on called Linda Isle. It would be soaking wet like this. But it wasn't rain, it was just extremely heavy marine layer fog. Now we're passing Boulder Bay right now. Oh, guys, good news about the temperature though. It did go down two degrees, it's 43 degrees. And depending on the instability of the atmosphere just above us, you never know because we could still see snowflakes mix in even at this temperature. So, because just 100 feet or 200 feet above us, be significantly colder because when you have storms like that and the streams flowing okay why did my my dash cam just just turned on it should have turned on right when I started the car but oh well <coughs> so there's a chance I mean very very small chance on this drive that we'll get some snow mixed in but there is a, a, there's a very small chance but because there's no one out, we're gonna do the lake drive. As you guys can see right now, there's no traffic, obviously. Um, and the traffic that we see with snowboards and skis coming in, gosh, I feel, seriously, like, I feel really, really, really bad. I can't remember if we offered rain checks when I worked for Bear Mountain. But still, that probably doesn't really matter because you, you know, you're taking time off of work and then you're driving all the way up here, and that's costing you money. Then you pay hundred plus dollars to go skiing. Yeah, it's a lot of money. Dude, this, this beanie smells like my Gucci beanie. It's crazy. I knew it was going to be high quality. What is going on with my freaking dash cam here? Why are you tripping out on me like this, buddy? Huh? You got a problem? There we go. Thought we had a problem for a second there. Just a dash cam. Alright. I'm excited about this weather. I'm excited about this weather. I'm happy right now. Still anxiety ridden. I don't know why. Like right now when there's nobody out, I feel very comfortable. It's weird because when I first moved up here, it's like when we would be bumper to bumper traffic, even though, yeah, of course, just like everybody else, I don't like traffic, but it felt much more comfortable up here and more fun because everybody was up here. Our town goes from about like five to 8,000 permanent residents to like sometimes a quarter million or more 
during this type of weather. Gosh, I know these people were thinking, driving up, they're like, yeah, well, it's raining down here, but by the time we get up to Big Bear, it's gonna be snowing. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Now we're at the Big Bear Dam, you guys. But look at how nasty it looks out there. We're gonna turn right here and drive through Fawn Skin and then go back around. We're gonna go around the lake here. You guys get a good perspective. This side of Fonskin gets a good amount of snow when it snows. And the Big Bear Dam area right here gets a lot of snow. But you'll notice the further we go this direction towards like Baldwin Lake, the less and less the rain and snow will be prevalent. up later at about noon we'll be doing another video and depending if it gets really heavy or if it just stays the same as it is around noon at like four or five then we're just we might skip that only because there's there's, there's no difference but obviously any change this is what I do I love to do this for you guys drive around the lake how long that takes from my house and then to get back to my house so we took Big Bear Boulevard all the way down here to Highway 38 turned on Highway 38 and then we're gonna take Highway 38 back to um, Stanfield Cutoff and this actually turns into Highway 18 up here you guys it's it's really weird how this works when you guys are driving on this side especially to avoid all the traffic on the other side. Um, keep your eyes on the signs to make sure that you, you make the make the proper turn. No matter what, when you get to, to one of the crossings, you're gonna be headed into Big Bear Lake, no matter what. Um, you can get over there somehow, so. But this Highway 38 turns into, if you stay straight on this, it'll be Highway 18 going down the backside of the mountain into Lucerne Valley. So to stay on Highway 38, you have to turn down Greenway, turn right on Greenway, and then left on Big Bear Boulevard, and then about a mile up, you're back on Highway 38. It's really strange how that works. But, it's Big Bear. Protect the 
eagles, which is awesome. It'd be nice if we protect the environment a little bit better around it. Meaning like keeping the lake full. But I know that's part of the plan that we have going, the lake replenishment project. Okay guys, we're entering fawn skin right now. And let's see, um, speed limit is 25 miles per hour. And we're going 35, so I need to slow the heck down. Because the ticket is very prominent in, in this area if you are speeding. I've received one on my birthday doing one of these darn videos. I showed the officer my ID, obviously. I'm like, look, it's my birthday. Can I get a break? I think I was only going like 32 or something, but nope, didn't get a break. I wasn't the happiest camper. And I wasn't too nice. But then I, I, I contacted them later because I felt bad about being mean to him and, and I got to apologize to him and, and just told him, you know what, I just, I was being a jerk. I was speeding. You didn't do anything wrong. I apologize. I shouldn't have treated you like that. Which is true. Because they do a lot for us up here. Because keep in mind, from a town that goes from five to 8,000 permanent residents up to over way over 100,000 when we have weather. Um, yeah, they do, they do a lot. They do a lot. And they have a lot to deal with because it's, it's a small, small police force when you consider over 100,000 people. With five to 8,000 people, it's still not the biggest police force up here. But they do a damn good job. Especially extracting like lots of the, I know a lot of you don't wanna hear this, but you know, there's a lot of meth labs up here. Unfortunately, it's very, very, very sad. Um, a friend of mine, his two kids are LA County sheriffs, two of his sons. And uh, I hear a lot of stuff from, from the father that you'll never read in the newspaper or anything like that. Anytime we have deaths on the mountain, like, like, like at, at the ski resorts, you'll never read about it. You'll never hear about it on the news. I mean, I know what they're doing. They're trying to protect this place because tourism is really all we, it's truly all we have. It's a, it's our only fiscal source. There's, there's nothing else that brings us any money. It's all tourism. Because most minimum wage jobs up here, like you, you, you can't, you can't maintain a city with that. So thank goodness for the tourism. <laughs> And thank goodness the minimum wage is really good in California. But the inflation and everything costing more um, kind of doesn't make the minimum wage really much much greater than the seven or eight bucks in some other states. So, because you're just paying a lot more for things here. One thing I found out though that was really interesting, when I first moved up here, I didn't think I was gonna be able to move here. And the reason being, is it's a tourism town right and it's a it's a ski resort town like you would think the cost of living for for rent would be expensive as hell like aspen or something but no like i was shocked i was shocked i didn't think there was a chance in the world i'd be able to move up here but i was able to and my place only cost me 550 a month and it's it's, it's small but it's two stories Plenty of room, water's included. Not the heated part of the water, but all the water's included. That's 550 a month. Mountain Dew a day drinker, you guys. It's horrible. 
and those Starbucks Frappuccino drinks, but because of all this medical stuff I've been going through, I pretty much have given up caffeine for the most part. Um, I'm gonna go trade in my Mountain Dews for Sprite also, because I have to have soda. I have to have soda. I know I should be drinking water, but I have to have soda and juice. Soda and orange juice, I love orange juice. Man, sometimes I can drink like a whole bottle of orange juice too, that's not good. That's way too much calcium for you <laughs> and sugar. But anyway, look over here, there's hardly any snow. The rain is, it has melted a lot of this snow away over here. But over here on the on this side, you don't get as much as much weather because most of the weather hits the mountain range over there where the ski resorts are. And the storm, the storm clouds rise, condense, and dump everything they have. They get squeezed out like a wet sponge right above the mountain. And then once they hit the lake area, it starts hitting all this dry desert climate air. Because keep in mind, guys, just on the other side of these hills here is the desert on this side. I mean, the, the desert desert. 120 degrees deserts. So there's a... Uh, we're in a very interesting climate area. And up here, there are a lot of little microclimates. Like, as I said, this term that I coined, the Big Bear Snow Rule, in, for me, that means that on one side of town, over by the dam, if you get a foot of snow, once you get to the other side of town, in Baldwin, you might have an inch or two from the same storm. And it might even be blue skies in Baldwin while it's dumping over here. But anyway, I just wanted you guys to see what it's like. It's not too dangerous out here right now. It's still 43 degrees. Obviously when traffic picks up, that's when the danger picks up quite a bit. Because I remember even living down the hill, it was, a lot of people would freak out just in the rain. Stanfield cutoff. We're gonna go pretty slow on here because there's no one behind us, so we can take the view of both sides here. Pull down the windows. Okay, so this is the lake. This is where the lake starts and goes all the way down to the dam. And then out here, that's the Baldwin area. You see how there's, well, that's on the way to Baldwin. You see how there's hardly any snow? Isn't that incredible? We'll get a lot more snow over here. But then once you start heading that direction, if you make a left here, you're gonna be getting into significantly less snow. So now we're gonna take the boulevard back. Please don't turn green, please don't turn green. Usually by this time, you'd 
hot people here already getting all getting all excited about skiing anyway you guys i love you guys it's good to see you this morning hope you hope you like the beanie this is these are all leather patches too anyway you guys take care okay i love you guys a lot peace out